Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see interview questions on business processes. Okay, in SAP MR, normally they may ask you what are all the business processes you have worked in SAP MR. People are asking me what is business processes. So that is what we are going to see now. Okay. So what is a business process? Procure to pay is a business process. So P2P cycle. They say P2P cycle. Okay. Getting the raw material, buying the raw material from the vendor with a competitive price. That is procured to pay side. So that is a business process. Scheduling agreement. Just in time. They call it as a just in time. So wherein we create scheduling scheduling agreement. It's an out, outline agreement. Wherein we create a scheduling agreement and based on the schedule lines, material will be delivered from the delivered by the vendor. That is scheduling agreement. Subcontracting is a business process in the SAPM. So what is subcontracting process? Sending the raw metal to the vendor, vendor in return will be sending us back the finished goods. That is subcontracting process. So that is a business process. So vendor consignment. We are putting the material, uh, uh, vendor puts the material in our premises, company's premises, where when we consume it, it will be built by the vendor or else it will be taken back by the vendor itself. That is consignment process. Vendor returns is a business process. So returning it back to the vendor, where, whether we have we have been implemented quality management or not, that is immaterial. So vendor returns is a business process that will be that will be configured in SAP system. All these can be configured in the SAP system: procure to pay cycle, scheduling agreement, subcontracting process, vendor consignment process, vendor returns process. All this can be configured in the SAP system. That is business process. So let's see. What are all the business processes? Each and every one, everything. These are these are all basic business processes. Let's see. First, procure to pay cycle. If they ask you what is procure to pay cycle, then you get into the subject. Okay, this business process. Okay, like RFQ is request for quotation, wherein we request the quotation from the vendor, and vendor in turn sends us back the quotation. We maintain the quotation. That is quotation maintenance. We maintain the quotation in SAP system, and then we compare the quotations okay from the various vendors if you are asking for if you are requesting uh, quotation with more than three, two more than one vendor we just compare the quotation and finally we select the vendor and then we do purchase order creation goods reserve and finally invoice vendor invoice we do the vendor invoice this is procured pay cycle so these are all the this procured pay cycle is the business processes okay once when they ask you what is procured pay cycle then you go for RFQ, quotation maintenance, quotation comparison, vendor selection, flashes or creation, goods reserved, and vendor invoice, invoice verification. Then you can say that. Okay, that is procure to be cycle, business process. This is one of the business processes in SAP MR. What I am going to tell you is basics, all basics of MR interview questions. Okay, business process interview questions. Next, what is, they may ask you, what is scheduling agreement? It's an outline agreement. If they ask you what is scheduling agreement, then you say, it is a one of the business processes in SAP wherein outline agreement will be created and whether scheduling agreement itself is a release order. So they may ask you what is a release order. If you are speaking about the release order, they may ask you what is a release order. Release order is nothing but wherein we can do goods movement based on the order. Okay, we can do goods reserve based on the order. Scheduling agreement is an outline agreement. If they ask you what is the process, then go for the process. We create the scheduling agreement and then we create the Schedule lines. Finally, we do goods reserved and invoice. That is the process involved in scheduling business processes. Then subcontracting process. So sending the raw material to the vendor, vendor in turn return us back the finished goods. Okay. This is what the definition. If they ask you what is uh, subcontracting process, just tell them the definition of Just don't go uh, directly into the process. Okay. When they ask you what is the process, then tell them the process. Okay, the process is uh, process is actually creating the purchase order. Before that, we create a uh, info record, purchase info record near me 11. Then we create bill of material in CS01, and then we do purchase order. So, wherein I, if they ask you what is item category in the purchase order, then just tell them the item category. Item category is L. After creating the purchase order, we send us send the material to the vendor. And finally, we do goods reserved from the vendor in MIR. We go. And then we do vendor invoice in MIR. See, this is what the process is. That is subcontracting process. 
If they ask you what is the movement time for a subcontractor, then tell them the movement time is 541. Just don't tell them before itself. They have to ask them what is the subcontracting process, movement time. Okay. And then consignment process. What is consignment process? Goods placed in company, company's premises, which is not being built. Once company consumes it, it will be built. Okay. Or else it can be taken back by the vendor itself. Okay. This is what the process is. If they ask you the process, just tell them the process. I'm just telling you the definition alone. Okay. If they ask you the process, you just tell them the you create the uh, info record, purchase info record, and then we do the purchase order. Wherein purchase order will be K, item category will be K. You just tell them what is the item, item category for the, if they ask you what is the item category for the consignment process, just tell them K, it's K. And finally, we do, in the MIGO process, we do goods reserve, making it as a consignment goods, and then we consume it in MIGO itself. Okay. 411 is the movement time. 411K is the movement time. If they ask you the movement time, just tell them the movement time. Or else don't tell them, tell them the movement time. Okay, that is consignment. So finally, vendor returns, normal vendor returns. We do purchase order, we get the material from the vendor, and then finally the vendor returns. Okay. If we get the material from the vendor, if the material is not up to the expectation, we send us back the Material to the vendor. If they ask you the movement time for the vendor returns, just tell them one double two is the movement time. Okay. So uh, please be very clear. Okay. When they ask you the business process, just tell them the definition, and then if they ask you the process, just tell them the process word. Okay. Or else just don't go directly into the process. Thank you. Thank you, Rish.